Drowning in debt. Tonight, 13 Investigates explores how a water main break in the street has left Colorado Springs homeowners paying for thousands of dollars in damages. As investigative reporter Sean Rice found out in this special report, the fight between those neighbors and a water district has turned ugly. January 28th, 2022, an early wake-up call for neighbors on Pinion J Drive in East Colorado Springs. Well, I get out of bed and I, I look out my window over there and I see a geyser that's uh, going about 30, 40 feet. It's a water main break, gushing 900,000 gallons of water through the broken line. Our street is flooding. Straight into nearby homes. Then finally had uh, an inkling that I should probably go check my basement for whatever reason, and I go down there and there's about two inches of water. Water district records obtained by 13 investigates show it took Cherokee Metro crews 21 minutes to get to the scene and another 64 to turn the water off. An after action report reveals the valves were frozen shut. The temperature outside, 60 degrees. It's a dangerous situation no matter how you cut it, but they have to get the scene and deal with it and protect themselves at the same time. The water main is on the road and not on Alex Olson or his neighbor Jeff Bandy's property, but the water flooded their basements, sewer water seeping into their carpets, damaging doors and warping cabinets. Jeff got a bill from a restoration company for more than $27,000 for basement repairs and Alex's damage is currently estimated at almost $30,000 by one contractor. And because the line isn't on their properties, their homeowner's insurance won't fully cover the repairs. They are liable. It's their fault it happened, not the valve. It's their fault the break or the, the backup happened. According to the Colorado Division of Insurance, this type of damage is covered under flood insurance through homeowners insurance policies. However, the type of damage is key. If the water enters your home below the earth's surface and the owners of the pipe are not negligent with repairs, you won't be covered. And whether the owners of the pipe are deemed negligent is something that has to be proven with documentation or in a court of law. The water line on Jeff Street was only 21 years old, well before repairs, which are usually made at the 50 year mark, according to Cherokee Metro Water District. Cherokee Metro says it's not responsible for the repair costs because it was, quote, not negligent. Welcome to the wonderful home, uh, wonderful world of home ownership. It, it, that's, we assume that liability when we buy a house. The water district is now challenging Jeff's basement repairs, refusing to reimburse him for the full amount. Specifically, Cherokee Metro Water District says the restoration company fixed four doors and a sink that were not damaged by water. Cherokee claims close to $1,600 was added to the restoration invoice for items that did not incur water damage and did not need to be repaired. The owner of Rare Restoration tells 13 Investigates they removed and disposed of all doors that were affected and the vanity in the basement bathroom. They provided photos showing the doors in question being removed. In a statement, the restoration company said, quote, in this particular case, Mr. Bandy had no fault, neither did the elements of his home's plumbing, and the amount of damage was quite severe. Bandy says he's been in constant contact with his contractors. This is ridiculous because every single one of them has made the claim that they're trying to screw you, watch out. Despite saying they were not negligent, Cherokee Metro's insurance provider gave Jeff a check for 10,000 and they are now offering an additional 9,500, saying it is the neighborly thing to do. Technically, we don't have to. Uh, and it's a, it's a dangerous precedent to set if you're gonna take care of everybody's problems 100% for the rest of our lives. Uh, that, that we shouldn't set that president because it really doesn't exist. But Jeff would still be responsible for $1,600 for repairs. Cherokee Metro District General Manager Amy Lathan says they stand by their decision not to pay Jeff the $1,600. And she calls the money offered and already given to Jeff unprecedented. In the midst of his fight for that money, there was a tension-filled phone call between Jeff and Cherokee Metro Water Administrator Brian Baudet last month. And I told him at the end of the conversation that I am sick of them treating us the way they are. I will be there tomorrow night at the meeting with guns and blazing. That is what I said. Shortly after, the board called the El Paso County Sheriff's Office and filed a harassment report against Jeff, which led to the cancellation of last month's board meeting. That was followed by a restraining order, which kept Jeff away from future meetings. You don't take that lightly, especially if you don't deserve it. I am gonna stick up for me and all of my neighbors. Uh, regardless of, I'm not going to get pushed around by these people. And um, I'm in this for the long haul, no matter how long it takes, I'm in. The Water District's restraining order against Jeff was dropped in civil court last week. Their next board meeting is scheduled for May 17th. Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. Wow, what a headache. Just to get stuck with those bills, mm. my goodness. Mm.